Hi everybody, this is Justina with Justina Tea Handmade. In today's video, I want to share with you uh, another of my ideas for the use of the uh, jelly vinyl and the clear printed vinyl. This little pattern, it's great for a pencil case or as you can see here, um, uh, I have my crochet hooks uh, organized inside, so it's perfect for your crafter friends all your kids to use as a pencil case or it's a great gift for a uh, teacher appreciation uh, it comes together in no time and requires really lim limited amount of uh, supplies this little pattern it's a free pattern so if you want to create uh, if you want to create a couple of those little zipper pouches uh, you you can just grab a free copy of the pattern following the link in the description below if you have any questions about the supplies or any um, sewing tricks that i use to put this together uh, feel free to leave a comment you can also contact me directly via facebook or instagram and i will try to uh, address your questions as soon as i can uh, as you as i said uh, this pouch is created with a clear printed vinyl and a jelly vinyl but if you don't have the jelly vinyl or you are not convinced uh, if you are up for working with it you can use just a waterproof canvas that's what i did on my little test uh, project uh, the waterproof canvas works perfectly um, just after uh, the final trim, uh, I quickly zapped uh, the cut edges with my lighter and it seems to be working just fine. And definitely the waterproof canvas is way easier to work with. If you are already a subscriber to my channel, thank you so much for spending more time with me today. Uh, if this is the first time you are coming across uh, my video, uh, I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and if you do, please make sure to subscribe. If you create um, any projects with this pattern, I would love to see them. So please make sure to share them with me on Facebook uh, or on Instagram. The links to the Facebook group and Instagram account are in the description below. And now if you want to see how this little uh, zipper pouch comes together, please keep watching. To start our project, we're gonna prep our pattern pieces and our zipper. Uh, you're gonna have only two pattern pieces. So you're gonna have the main uh, back piece and the see-through uh, vinyl piece for the front. Also, you're gonna cut three and a half uh, inch long piece of uh, zipper. I'm using zipper number five, but zipper number three will uh, work equally good if you uh, don't have a zipper tape, you can just uh, use ready-made zipper, just trim it to size. Um, I'm also going to be using polyester thread. Um, you can use a nylon thread. Uh, I would just recommend something that uh, the end of, or the tails of the thread can be melted. Um, so really not a cotton thread. Uh, so now that we have all our uh, supplies ready we're gonna start with the, we're gonna start with attaching our zipper so take your zipper and keep in mind that this panel in the final position is going to be this way so if you want your zipper uh, to be in a close position when the zipper pull is on the left just keep that in mind uh, i'm gonna use some double-sided tape to help me hold the zipper inside of my zipper opening Now I'm going to center my zipper uh, tape inside of the zipper opening. And when I have my panel prepped like this, I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to 
top stitch along the zipper opening with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Um, I'm gonna use some parchment paper uh, on the back of my project to help me slide over, to help me slide on the bed of the machine. Uh, I'm also using a non-stick needle uh, because the, um, the vinyl uh, the vinyl material uh, can be a little sticky. So those are uh, two things you may want to consider. Um, I would recommend for sewing with the jelly vinyl, but this project doesn't have to be made with jelly, uh, jelly vinyl. If you are using regular vinyl or even a waterproof canvas, um, then you should be fine. So take your project to the machine and top stitch the zipper inside of your zipper opening. My zipper is now sewn in. Now I'm gonna trim my short edge uh, of the jelly uh, vinyl panel. This is optional. I'm just gonna give it a nice colored edge. And now I'm gonna attach my clear vinyl panel to my jelly vinyl. So I'm going to use some double-sided tape as well. And I'm going to overlap those two panels by about 3 eighths of an inch. When I have those panels affixed to each other, I'm going to take my project back to the machine and I'm going to sew along this colored edge with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Um, with the scalloped edge, depending on the depth of your scallops, you may want to increase the seam allowance to make sure you are sewing on the material and um, that your seam is not uh, skipping uh, through the scallops. So take it to the machine and sew those two panels together. Now that our two panels are connected, we're gonna prep for our final seam. So you're gonna fold the project wrong sides together. Make sure that your panels align nicely and clip on the sides. When you have your project prep like this, you're gonna take it back to the machine and you're gonna sew along this edge with the 1 8 uh, of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. I'm gonna increase my seam allowance a little bit because I'm gonna come back and trim my seam allowance with the pinking shears. Uh, so I wanna give myself a little more space and uh, keep in mind that you are following the edge of your front panel so you're gonna make sure you are rounding those corners because uh, when our project is completed either way if you are using uh, scallop pinking shears you're still gonna trim uh, your seam allowance uh, to clean it up so take your project to the machine and sew along this edge now that your final seam is completed we're gonna trim the seam allowances And now you can zap all the little threads. And if you're happy with the way your project is looking, your pencil case is completed. The project is now completed. Our little pencil case or a zipper pouch, because it has many uses. It's now ready to use. As you can see, I stuffed this one with crochet hooks. So if you have 
a family member or a friend that you would like to make a little gift for that likes to crochet, um, they can use that as a uh, organizer for the crochet hooks or if you are looking for a teacher appreciation gift or a student um, gift you they can use this as a pencil case i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you're gonna uh, give the project a go uh, please make sure to sh share your creations with me uh, on facebook or on instagram links to both are in the description box below uh, and if you have any question or suggestion, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget uh, to grab the free copy of the pattern following the link below. Till the next time.